Volkswagen's range, the T-Rox exterior styling is rather distinctive. It features quirky additions such as indicator lights, a circle of the fog light clusters and more boxy dimensions, along with the gently swooping roof line and angular lines. You might expect this theme to carry across to the inside, but unless you opt for the more vibrant design trim level, the interior's finish is comparably conservative, brushed aluminium effect trim is about as exciting as it gets and the plastics feel tough rather than premium. That said, the dashboard design is tidy and contains an 8.0 and infotainment touchscreen with key features such as Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone mirroring. There's no sat nav in the SE, however. As standard, there's also no digital active information display in place of the dials, although our test car, pictured, had this option added. It's easy to get comfortable in the t rock thanks to a driver's seat that offers a wide range of adjustments and a steering wheel that can be pulled close. This leaves the T-Rock feeling only slightly taller than the Gaul, but its 81mm higher profile ensures improved headroom and better visibility. On the move, the 1.0 TSI engine provides punchy mid-range grunt and a vigorous three-cylinder tone that, while being low in volume, gives off the aura of a lukewarm hatchback power plant. Mated to a slick six-speed manual gearbox, it makes the T-Rock, even in this base petrol form, feel somewhat sporty. Chassis Gersef Stat hasn't fallen short on his promise for a good handling car, the T-Rock rides and steers in the manner of the large hatchback rather than SUV. The front wheels are quick to respond to steering inputs and the damping is effective at eliminating wobbles or excessive body movement. Yet the car still has a subtle ride on its 17 and wheels, meaning you can make good progress along the B-road without fear of unsettling it.